हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी फार्मास्यूटिकल इंजीनियरिंग लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ साइज रिडक्शन आई एम रुद्री पाठक एंड आई विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग योर फर्स्ट लेक्चर दैट इज इंट्रोडक्टरी सेशन ऑन साइज रिडक्शन विल बी डिस्कसिंग द एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर यूनिट ऑपरेशन इन टूडेज लेक्चर Size reduction is considered as one of the most important and integral unit operation of pharmaceutical industry. While working with a powder blend or a powder formulation, we must have noticed that each and every particle of a powder blend is usually of different size and surface characteristics. which we call as a polydisperse system but sometimes it is needed in certain formulations specific solid dosage forms that the powder blend should be made up of each and every particle of same size and same surface characteristics that is mono disperse system so in this particular chapter we'll be discussing how actually mono disperse systems are prepared manufactured what are the instruments with which size reduction or mono disperse systems are actually prepared and what are the current trends in pharmaceutical industries for preparation of such kind of mono disperse systems now let's talk about the terminology or definition of size reduction it is a simple unit operation which is carried out for the purpose of reducing the size of larger or bigger particles into smaller particles of desired characteristics with the help of any external force now it should be considered that usually size reduction is carried out in conjugation with size separation and size reduction can also be termed as comminution or pulverization now there are specific advantages and specific reasons because of which size reduction is so important in our industry now if we talk about a chemical industry size reduction is crucial because decrease in size can actually increase the surface area and lead to certain specific changes in chemical reactions because it is directly proportional now sometimes it is also needed that certain material needs to be separated into two or more smaller constituents for which size reduction is needed to achieve efficient mixing size reduction is critical and important certain waste material needs to be disposed after reducing the size of that material uh sometimes to improve the flow property and to facilitate the handling characteristics size reduction is actually done now if we talk about the pharmaceutical advantages of size reduction the most important and crucial advantage is it leads to content uniformity that is when a particular api or drug is mixed with two or more ingredients it is assured if the size is reduced and if the size of particles is managed then it is assured that the content is uniformly mixed each and every particle of api is efficiently mixed with each and every other ingredient or excipient effectively which is listed in advantage number 4 as well that is uniform mixing uh in certain dosage forms that is tablets it is needed that the formulation or the api and excipients should efficiently flow from the hopper to the tablet compression area so it is size reduction is actually needed to assure uniform flow properties 
uh, in certain formulation the batch needs to be dried before preparing a product out of it so reducing the particle size actually increases the surface area and facilitates the drying as a unit operation the most crucial advantage of size reduction is it can actually improve the rates of absorption and dissolution as well uh, when the drug reaches systemic circulation or even before that when the drug is in the digestive tract it mixes with the digestive fluids and it gets dissolved based on the size of particle of api and excipients there are reports of certain medicines or there are reports of certain drugs such as griseofulvin which is an antifungal drug that reducing the size of this particular api actually increases the efficacy uh, because of improved dissolution and consequently absorption rate of the api in the bloodstream uh, students can actually refer other drugs uh it is given in cvs subramaniam the name of the other drugs which are actually reported to have improved dissolution and absorption in blood stream after the size reduction unit operation now with advantages there are certain disadvantages because of size reduction the most critical disadvantage is related to drug degradation a uh, certain material is actually there are certain material which are subjected to size reduction operation by application of heat now if the material is thermo labile then there are chances that degradation of that material can take place and it may lose its potency to cure the underlying disease now uh, because of size reduction the material may actually develop cohesive forces and due to this cohesive forces they can actually have forces of attraction and it can ultimately lead to increased particle size because of clump formation and that can decrease the mixing efficacy efficacy of the final product in certain operations and in certain instrumentation there are reports of contamination because of size reduction unit operation which needs to be considered as well so there are three major disadvantages that is drug degradation can take place if the material is thermo labile uh if the material develops cohesive forces of attraction then the overall size of material can increase because of lump formation and it decreases the mixing efficacy and contamination can take place if there is excessive dust formation in the instrument because of the size reduction unit operation now there are four basic modes of size reduction and these four principles are actually applied in various instruments used for size reduction the most basic principle involved in size reduction unit operation is cutting that is the material whose size needs to be reduced is cut by a very sharp blade and it can lead to size reduction of the material usually the product is of fibrous nature and the mill which is utilized for reducing size is cutter mill this is the example of the mill which utilizes this particular principle and the material is usually fibrous that is uh, any plant based product whose size is needs to be reduced the second important mode of stress application is compression a uh, material is actually crushed between two rotating uh, rollers 
and uh, with the application of pressure the size reduction actually takes place the example of this um, uh, particular equipment is a roller mill which utilizes two rollers moving in opposite direction and it can actually crush the material in between by application of pressure the third important mode of stress application is by impact as the name suggest uh, we can use some hammers or bars which can apply pressure and it can lead to size reduction at a very high speed uh, the example in this category is a hammer mill uh, very effective and used uh, widely in the industry the last but not the least very important mode of stress application is by attrition where the material is broken down by rubbing action between two surfaces uh, one of the most widely used mill or equipment for size reduction of sterile products the example is fluid energy mill so these are the four basic modes of stress application cutting the simplest one then compression where the material is crushed between two rotators or rollers moving in opposite direction then impact that is application of hammer or bar at a very high speed and with the help of very high pressure and force and the fourth one attrition where the size reduction is actually carried out by two different surfaces rubbing action between two different surfaces the example is fluid energy mill one of the widest used equipment for size reduction of highly sterile products uh, next lecture will actually consist of various mills or various equipments which are utilized in size reduction unit operation now before we discuss in detail about each and every mill you should be knowing how to describe a mill for gtu examination now if you look at the marks distribution the principle of such equipments will be of one mark then construction again it will be of one mark working with the steps will be of one mark again diagrammatic representation is very important and crucial with labeling again it will be of one mark and finally advantages and disadvantages one mark each so the entire question can be of six marks no matter what equipment they are going to ask but each and every segment will be of one mark each so you should be knowing the marks distribution well before attempting the uh, question as in gtu examination uh, students needs to consider that each and every mill described in this particular chapter operates on a different principle that we discussed in the previous slide so that's all for today's lecture introductory lecture we talked about what are the various advantages and disadvantages of size reduction unit operation uh in case of queries you can refer cva subramaniam chapter 3 which is size reduction the chapter is in conjugation with with size separation unit operation okay thank you